Greetings there. In this video, I'd like to showcase a method on how to get the Yes, I am the real Gary achievement in Gary's mod without using Sam. Now, full disclaimer, this achievement is currently conditionally impossible because it requires you to play on the same server as Gary. Gary being, well, Gary Newman, the developer of the game. And he basically retired from playing this game since 2018, which at the time of this recording is seven years now. However, there are still two methods I know of, at least, on how to get this achievement. And one of which is to use SAM, which is SAM, it stands for Steam Achievement Manager. It's a program where you literally just push a couple of buttons and you immediately can add or remove any achievement from any of game in your Steam library which I find a little lazy and cheap and not very rewarding or satisfying. But there is another way, which also involves a, an external program, but I find it a little more fair and interesting. And it'll be with Cheat Engine, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do this in, well, this video. So the three things you need is you need two players at least, you need, well, Cheat Engine, as mentioned before, and you need to know your Steam ID. So let's start off with step one. We're going to start off a new game. We need at least two players, so just set up two players. Make sure that people can join you. Play on any map. I'm just going to use GM Construct as a demonstration. Wait for it to finish loading. Okay, now first things first, you just want to start off a server and you can do whatever, you can walk around, just basically wait for a couple of seconds. Now next up, you want to alt tab and go into Cheat Engine or just open up Cheat Engine. There we go, here we are in Cheat Engine. Now first things you want to do is click on this little monitor icon on the top left. Then you want to select Gary's mod as it's still running, make sure it is still running. Open it. And in this little box, you want to paste in or type in your first normal Steam ID. In my case, it would be this one. You can find out your Steam ID on your own Steam profile if you look into its URL. Or you can go onto steamdb. I think cal uh, calculator or something dot info. Steam dot info slash calculator. I think that's what it was. And look up your uh, ID there. So you scan. And it should yield um, about 20 results or less. If it yields a whole bunch of results, then uh, make sure not to modify them. But for now, you scan and you get this list of numbers on the left. You want to select all of them by holding shift and selecting all of them using the arrow keys or just holding control A. And then put all of them into the address bar at the bottom using this little arrow. Now, next up, you want to, once again, select all of them, press right click, change record, and value. So, this value right here, uh, you may be a bit confused, huh? I typed in this number up here, but th these numbers came out, they, have, they don't look any, <laughs> they don't look similar in any way. It's because the number that's being shown here is your tertiary uh, I Steam ID, because your Steam ID doesn't just have one, it has three, four, I don't know how many IDs a Steam account has, but this should be the tertiary one. And you can confirm this on the SteamDB website if you're not sure. So you want to change this ID temporarily. This will not be permanent. And whatever number is in here, you just want to replace it with the value 14199 or 14199 as I like to call it. Press OK. And then well, first of all, confirm that everything changed. Yep, everything's set to 14199. Now you hit new scan and first scan again. And if nothing shows up, that means every single address that had this value uh, has now been changed to 14199, which is a good thing. Now let's go back into Gary's mod. Okay, having returned in Gary's mod, you can now confirm if you did everything correctly by pressing tab and looking to see if your Steam profile picture does not match your current profile picture. 
your name should still be the same, but your profile picture will have changed to the profile picture uh, of Gary, Gary Newman. And you can confirm this also by clicking on it and seeing if it redirects you to your Steam profile or to the Steam profile of, uh, well, Gary Newman. So we're going to do that right now. And it redirects me right here to Gary Newman's profile, which is what we want. Close that. So now all you have to do is let a friend join your server and the friend whom you are playing with should get the achievement and to showcase this i actually played with two friends of mine they were so kind to be my volunteers so let's switch over to that recording okay so as a little demonstration for this achievement i have my friend kumu with me hello kumu hello so, what do you know about the Yes, I'm the Real Gary achievement? Uh, I know that uh, it's the creator of the game, and he stopped playing like seven years ago, and you have to be in a lobby with him. So, do you think that with a little trickery, I am able to still get this achievement today? Maybe yes. <laughs> Maybe yes, <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna start up a two-player multiplayer lobby, just two players, and everything and we'll first do a little test to see if the viewers can see your steam overlay or rather your achievement popping up okay now just as a test for the viewers please type in your chat at uh, your chat block switch there we go kuma and the achievement secret phase uh, so this is just as evidence to see that <laughs> you can actually see your achievements all right now please leave the server All right, now please re-enter the server. Hey, yes, sir. And now we'll just wait a couple of seconds and please pay attention to the chat as well as your achievement. Achievements are popping up on the top, right? So there you I, go. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's like magic, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. What do you do? Let's just say I imitated Gary for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, thank you very much for be for being a lovely demonstrator. Now, we uh -huh. shall move on to the next person whom I de demonstrated this with. So, I have my second volunteer with me. Say hello, Drayla. Hello. So, Drayla, let me ask you. What do you know about the Gary's mod achievement called Yes, I am the real Gary? Basically, to my current extent of knowledge, Yes, I am the real Gary pertains to the Gary's mod achievement where you meet Gary Newman, the man himself, inside a Gary's mod server. And uh, how do you know how, how possible that is nowadays? Virtually impossible because he does. I, to my knowledge, Gary Newman does not get on Gary's mod anymore. Like he doesn't play it. To my knowledge, so it's virtually impossible. You'd be correct. He has not played the game in seven years, so Jeez. it is very unlikely for him to play it again. Although today I'm going to show you magic, and to demonstrate this magic, I'm going to open up a server. So okay. I started up the server, and you can join me through Steam now. There you are. Hello. <laughs> ah, it's the it's command. Command. <laughs> okay, now um, you probably know about this. Please type in the chat uh, block switch. Like this? Oh. Oh, with uh, with an X. <laughs> like Roblox type thing. Yeah, block switch. <laughs> I got the secret phase, phrase achievement. You did. <laughs> I did. Okay, I don't know why it's not showing in the chat. It's supposed to show in the chat that you receive that achievement. But okay. I'm guessing people can see it from your perspective. <laughs> yes, they can. They saw it. Okay. Everyone saw it. Now, um, please leave the server. Temporarily. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, please re-enter the server. I do believe I am re-entering the server. Yep, right now. you have joined. 
client info sent. Starting the world with a start of. Uh huh. There oh, you are. Oh. Now, anything happen? Oh. I. Are you Gary Newman? <laughs> How did you do that? Are you Gary? Perhaps I, I am. I just got the Gary achievement. <laughs> what? You are the Gary Newman. It's your profile picture. <laughs> How did you do that? Okay, I don't know why it's not showing uh, in the chat. The last volunteer, it showed up in the chat, but again, <laughs> I hope they saw it from your perspective. <laughs> they, saw, they saw it in the top right corner of my screen and they also heard the notification sound okay so uh just as a disclaimer no i'm not uh, no i'm not the real gary <laughs> I thought you were. but through a little trick i was able to imitate him and temporarily become him <laughs> anyway your reaction was uh, priceless and uh we can end the recording now thank you for being a volunteer okay you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks again to Kuma and Trailer. And there you have it. That is how you get the achievement using this method that I found. I'm very surprised that I haven't been able to find this method anywhere else. I mean, I have seen people talk about Sam and or just waiting for Gary. But this specific method using Cheat Engine I have not found anywhere. So, hey, that's a first. If you do plan on getting the achievement without using SAM or Cheat Engine, then I'm afraid all you can really do is wait for Gary. There is a Steam group by Zozano, which is basically just waiting in camaraderie for Gary to come back, but no new events have been planned, so all you can really do is wait. The thing is, even with this method, it still would not work for Steam achievement hunting websites just because it is using an external program to mod the game. But I still think it's a more fair and fun way to get this achievement than just simply clicking a button and immediately getting it. You could even make up your own conditions, such as playing with someone who has the same profile picture as Gary, or has the same uh, weapon as Gary, or has the same name as Gary. You can basically make up your own conditions, which I like. Now, if you're wondering if this works on public servers, I'm afraid yes, but I haven't tested it, and I really wouldn't want to test it, because I don't want to give this achievement to people who really didn't want it. So my advice would just be, please use it responsibly, this method. Thank you. Now that should be everything I wanted to mention. I hope this guide has been useful to you. Goodbye and have a great time.